Hello everyone, Helica Divine here, Pink Rose Cycling Manage 2018. We are about to go into Itzulia, Basque Country. Six stages. First a hilly stage, a flat stage with some climbs towards the end. A hilly stage, a hilly stage with some nice uphill finish. Another hilly stage and <laughs> a hilly time trial. Could be interesting, I think this said uh, Froom was the winner previous season. Yes, it was. So we should be facing some tough competition. This isn't a World Tour race, I think. Where are we? Maybe. It should be here somewhere. That's the one. Oh, it is a World Tour race, okay. Um. We're struggling a little bit here with training, as we can see our tiredness is at 16% and this is coming uh, out of a rest week, so we just recovered from 38, I think it was, something like that. Now it's down to 16, we are struggling to find the brakes here, we are likely to be quite tired coming into Tour of California. But I think that after Tour of California, we should be able to rest. We might need a double rest week, and that would be quite bad for our fitness. Uh, the other option is to remove Amstel Gold Race or La Flecha Vallone. And then have a rest uh, week. I think we might need to do that. Actually, let's let's do that because uh, Amstel Gold Race we are going to, but uh, La Flecha La Flecha Valone will be removed. Then we go to training and we have a break, meaning we will we will still not be under ninety percent, so it should be fine. We will not be as good uh, when it comes to the Romandie and California uh, in fitness, but uh, it should still be all right. 91% is totally fine, and hopefully that will make it easier when we go into uh, the races in June, mostly, I guess. Uh, but now it's still a bus country, six stages. Should be interesting to see our role. I am hoping we, uh, we are <laughs> going to be a sprinter, okay? That is uh, surprising. Uh, the team is rather strong, I would say. Mikelanda, we can see excellent form. Valverde is having a bad day, but I think his general condition is maybe not that good. Fitness 88%. Hmm. Barbero and no, uh, Pedero and uh, Carretero, they are the bad riders, much worse than everyone else in our team. Um, I guess Mikel Landa will be the big hope for us here if Valverde is in poor form. But uh, they want us to be a sprinter today, that's going to be interesting. We'll see what we can do. The finish is actually decently good for us. Uh, maybe we would have liked the, the climb to be a little bit tougher so that we could maybe attack out of that climb. And then recover in the downhill and dominate the sprint with those who survived. But uh, we will see what happens. Uh, other than that, I think we are just going to wait for the end of this stage because... Yeah, it would have been a nice stage to go out for a breakaway and try and get the mountain jersey, but I don't think they will allow that. 17 kilometers left to go. We are. <laughs> yeah, we have Barbero helping us, but he is pretty much done. He has been amazing today, being able to keep up for this long. He is usually a sprinter, but uh, he's perfect. Uh, he's Perfect fitness and uh, strong form have helped him. I guess he's uh, in a fitness peak. 
uh, meant that he could keep up even in the mountains. You can see that a lot of my teammates couldn't do that. Mikel Landa is also in this uh, main group of 46 riders. The climb should start very soon. Uh, we did get 4th place in the category 1 mountain. So we have 4 points towards the mountain jersey. I guess that is... Uh, we might actually be able to compete in this mountain as well. So we, we shouldn't have the mountain jersey, but we might be in a good position to compete for it. Uh, Esteban Chavez is the first one to go. Bernal, Bennett and a lot of strong riders are trying to go for it. We need to move up to 90 effort. Maybe even 95 effort. Because the pace is very, very high. Esteban Chavez is still up in front. More people are trying to battle for it. We are now up in front. With 800 meters left to go to the top of this climb. I feel like we're gonna take this. Yeah, no one is going to challenge us. They're going to allow us to take it. But we couldn't attack. We were not in a position where we could attack. 28 riders managed to survive. Our teammate Mikel Landa is one of them. Now we need to make sure that we can recover for a little bit. Because we might be in a position to get a, a top 5 in this final bit of the stage. It felt like they were trying to attack up in front, but yeah, they are still trying to attack. Is that Conrad? We're gonna sprint. Start the sprint. Come on, 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 come on. Move up in front. Philip is up there, Roglic is up there, we are battling for second place with Kwiatowski. We are going to be third I think, yes, Philip wins, Kwiatowski, and then we take third place with Adam Yates on our wheel. That was a strong finish. Mikalanda is not as fortunate coming in 20th. Strong first stage here in Itzulia Basque Country. I mean, there were no bonus seconds on that stage, okay. Yeah, not for the finish at least. And we got 10 points towards the mountain jersey. Pierre Roland, a very strong rider out in the breakaway. And we have the youth jersey on the next stage. Same time as Enric Maas, but looks like we're gonna have the jersey because we finished ahead of him on the stage. You see there are a lot of strong riders. This could be... Oh, Gordon Thomas came in last place in that group of 28. That is a surprise. And I can't see uh, Chris Froome either. So he's not going to defend this jersey. Actually, we need to check uh, EXP gain. 36 points. Good job. Second stage, we have the youth jersey on our shoulders. And I, I actually didn't check the race strategy. The free element, sprint train. Barbero is the stronger sprinter on the team, so he is going to be allowed to handle that business today. But uh, free element, will we be allowed to go into a breakaway today? That would be a surprise to me. And. Uh, we might be willing to do so early on and get the mountain points in the early parts of the stage. And then uh, maybe we could fall back to the, the peloton and uh, make sure that we have the strength to compete in the finish. Even if they think that uh, Barbero will be the strongest in our team today. I am hopeful we would be able to get uh, a decent finish as well if we were together with the peloton towards the end. We are trying to get into the breakaway. Valverde went down. 
A lot of people went down actually. Only 94 people in the main group now. But they are chasing us hard. They are riding fast behind us. It's going to be uphill now. So that could benefit us. Nope, <laughs> it's not going to happen. I guess we're just gonna set the pace uphill then. Uh, maybe 70 effort and just ride like that to the top of this climb. That should help us. Ooh, motorcyclists. Uh, that should help us. We're actually getting away again. We are getting away again. We need to speed up again then. Uh, 80 effort. That looks like someone is attacking. I couldn't see who it was. Turgis. Uh, let's do 85 effort. So there is uh, a breakaway being formed here. Okay, now it is a bit easier. Some rider from Belgium up in front. Uh, we need to attack. Because we need the points. We need to win this. It's not going to happen. We're going to take second place for this uh, mountain. Okay, so we, ha we have a group. We actually need to have a look here. Can we see? Uh, more than a minute at least. But it's a bit hard to tell at the moment. How far uh, ahead we are of the peloton. Hopefully we will bunch up here in the... In the front, and then we will be able to see where the where the peloton is. Maybe now. Okay, there are two minutes behind us. Should at least be enough for for the next mountain. And then we will need to decide what we want to do. It is starting to look like we will not make it to the next mountain. The peloton is close behind us. One person have already given up in this group. Now they are starting to pace again up this climb. Wanting to make sure we go fast enough to keep the peloton behind us, and we agree with that. The distance to the peloton is growing again. We only really care about winning the mountain points here. We do not really care about the breakaway. Okay, wow, that is fast pace. Are they attacking? Valgren, I think Valgren got quite a lot of mountain points. Nope, actually 18. But it would be... Uh, actually, I think he's... It's quite... I think he's in second place then, yeah. Yes. Uh, we are going to run out of strength here in this climb. So we will not be able to beat Valgren. And then we need to slow down. Go very, very slow. <laughs> That was very strong by Valgren to be able to beat us that uh, firmly, definitely. But we are at least in uh, third place now. Valgren is the new leader. Pierre Roland is out there and we are in third place. Um, we would be happy if the peloton caught us now. Uh, haven't really decided if we're gonna follow Valgren or if we... Uh, or the, and the rest of the breakaway, or if we should just fall back to the peloton. 15 kilometers left to go, and we are 108 people here in this main group. We are actually in the climb already. Prades looks like he might be going for the mountain points, but we want them. It's a bit too early. To leave the others in the peloton. Prades is not going to make it. He is too tired. We are going to make sure that we can follow everyone who is trying to attack here. That is not going to happen from the looks of it. Still more than a kilometer left to go and we are moving up in front. Will this pace be enough to take the mountain points? Yes, it will be. 
there we have it. Good job. We are now in second place. Valgren got a few more points. In the in the, the climb before this. But then the, the breakaway got caught and now we are in a decent position for the mountain URC as well. 73 people in this group now. Uh, we're gonna use the energy gel now because there is downhill. Yeah, a bit difficult to decide when we're gonna start the sprint on a finish like this. Four kilometers left to go. Okay, we're gonna start following the pace up in front. 89 effort. People are starting to sprint. We need to start to sprint as well. Feel like that is way too early actually, but uh, maybe they know what they are doing. Barbero is going to win the stage. We run out of strength a little bit too early. Barbero is the winner, we get the team victory, we are in 6th place. Still a pretty good finish, we were a little bit too eager with the sprint, but uh, we did help Barbero, I think, to get 1st place. I'm gonna take credit for that. Strong day for the team, a strong day for us. We actually have 1st place now. I guess we, fi we finished the best out of all these, uh, it was 28 people, but uh, maybe someone had to withdraw, so 27 people now, let's actually go down. See that uh, 4 people ran out of time, 2 people had to withdraw, not sure if any one of them were in the top group with us. So maybe someone fell and lost time, because they didn't finish with the... Uh, with the main group today, Sprinters URC, Barbero takes the lead, we are in second place, amazing for the team, we already knew the mountain points, we are in second place, 7 points behind Valgren, and the youth URC is on our shoulders, was it Bernal that lost time today? Doesn't really matter, our team is in 9th place, but uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna be in the leaders URC. Let's see what that will give us for points. 8 points only, that's fine. Plus one day, that's going to help us. You see that we have actually a very nice boots, uh, boost of stats. Uh, Mikel Landa, plus three day. He is going to be one of the favorites today. I would say our race strategy finish in the top 20. I really feel like we can do that, and uh, it makes sense that it is us and uh, Mikel Landa that are the, uh, the team leaders today. And we have Barbero, can help us, and uh, Prades. I feel like it hmm. would make more sense if uh, Barbero protected us early on here. Uh, let's have a look at the finish. Wow! Oh. So, a pretty decent climb, then it is easier for a little bit, but the end up towards the goal line is a short but super steep climb. That could be interesting and it's going to be difficult to determine how to ride that finish, when to use uh, our strength. I assume we need to wait for that final super tough uh, climb yeah it's it's going to be uh, very difficult because we know the competition is massive it's going to be super tough to do something on a stage like this i think uh, we need to see if we can do something here in this climb now the pace is very high we're trying to catch the breakaway i think it's no it's too late it's way too late for me to do anything here. Uh, Valgren won one mountain, I think, and he didn't get any points in the second mountain. But he managed to win this mountain. Sadly, okay, we, we can't be chasing now, and uh, 
the points had already been distributed. They went super fast up that climb. So Valgren have a big lead in the mountain jersey now. I'm going to assume that we're gonna chase them down very soon. You can see Valverde is healthy in that breakaway group, but uh, don't think he wants to keep on battling. I actually think that if the lead had been a little bit bigger at this point, he might have been able to win this stage. But I guess he don't want to do it on his own. I will get back to you when we are closer to the final climbs. Pace is fast, but I think it's going to slow down for a little bit before the final climb is starting. 49 people in the main group. Valverde is protecting us, but he is struggling. And our other helper, Prades, is pretty much done for the day. Landa is still in this group as well. Maybe we should have tried to get a few points in that sprint, but uh, can't do anything about that now. Faria da Costa setting the pace. Seven and a half kilometers left to go. 36 people in this group now. That actually means one of the players. Pardé and Genis have lost their positions and might be out of it. Six kilometers left to go. Means that we are in the toughest climb here. Five kilometers left to go, we still look good. I feel like we are strong here, but a lot of strong people are in this group as well. Grant Thomas, will he do something today? Nibali is setting the pace. 29 riders still alive. Conrad up in front. Pacing. And attacks Kwiatowski. Is that a serious attack? It might be. It might be a serious attack. We move up to 95 effort to try and follow. Okay, down to 89 effort now. Landa dropped 18 people in this group now. Uh, energy gel. We forgot about the energy gel. The now it's just climbing. Yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit to use this sprint here. Now, 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 let's go. Let's see if we can pass anyone. We might be battling for fifth place. It looks like we might take fifth place, actually. It's uh, Yates, that is Simon Yates, Conrad, Nibali, Alaphilippe. Can we pass any of them? Come on, come on. Simon Yates, Conrad, we're gonna take fifth place. Nibali, Alaphilippe, and we are in 5th place as I said. I wonder what this will mean for the general classification. Kwiatowski, Wellens, Martin. This is, uh, this is a very interesting finish and uh, there should be time gaps. 5 people up in front. We are in last out of those 5. Let's have a look here. We are actually still in the leader yours here. It is us five up in front, 22 seconds ahead of Team Wellens and Michael Kwiatowski. Points jersey, Alaphilippe is now one point ahead of us. <laughs> That's a bit rough, we were one point behind our teammate, now we are one point behind Alaphilippe. Mountain jersey, Fagen extended his lead, we got one point today in some climb and we now have Pretty much secured the youth jersey. Our team is in third place. But another day in the leader jersey. Can we get a good amount of EXP? Yes, 36 points. 